COVID-19 in Middle Tennessee. And this brings the state's total number of confirmed cases to seven. In Georgia, the number is at six. 34 passengers from a quarantined cruise ship off the coast of California will soon be transferred to a base in Georgia where they will continue to be quarantined. And shelves are bare across the Tennessee Valley. People are buying in bulk in response to a growing number of coronavirus cases across the nation. Now, the CDC has suggested people over the age of 60 stock up and stay home. But how about others? Is it still necessary? We have team coverage of what you need to know featuring Channel 3's Travis Cummings. He's live in Hickson. Travis? Well, David, our Channel 3 team has been all over the area in stores only to find empty shelves. But here at the B&B on Hickson, you can still find masks and you can still find hand sanitizer. They have a huge supply, but i got to tell you, they've been running out every 30 minutes. They've had to restock. They say they do have a supply in the dock. They're just waiting for it to be unloaded. With confirmed cases of coronavirus on the rise, retailers can't keep the shelves stocked with hand sanitizer and cleaning supplies. Early this morning when we opened, there were people waiting at the door, and of course there were people who would have liked to have bought everything we have. B&B discount sales in Hickson recently closed on a deal to sell the items that are in high demand. We've got, you know, uh, germ wipes, we've got respirator masks, procedure masks, hand sanitizers. Ball and other local retailers say it's not necessary to bulk buy. Many stores are rationing items to make it to their next shipment. I don't think that there's any need for people to go out and stock up on a lot of these supplies, but everybody should probably have a little bit. While shoppers like Bruce McPhee are paying close attention to the director from the CDC, calling on people 60 or older to stock up on medications, household items, and groceries. It would be a bad, like a bad case of the flu. I think the thing that's different is that this is more, uh, more contagious than uh, a lot of other uh, illnesses that we have to deal with. Disaster preparedness consultant Seth Weller told us over the phone it's time for people to be proactive. You know, proper planning prevents poor preparedness. People should maintain good hygiene. People need to go out and do as the CDC suggested for people 60 and over. But remember that it's not going to stop with just people that are 60 and over. It's directive that is driving local business, but Ball hopes it won't drive undue fear. This is just a great buy for people who have elderly family members or people that are otherwise compromised that would be more in need of these type of products than maybe the everyday person. Again, the CDC urges people 60 years of older or with underlying medical illnesses to take a hold of these extra items and stock up and stay home. Here at BNB, their next shipment is already in the loading dock. Reporting in Hickson, Travis Cummings, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.